Um, so today we are talking about pie. We're going to get there in the end. <laughs> no, no, sweet pie. So first of all, I want, I just, this is a call and response section. I want everyone to think of the sweetest thing that they can think of. Let me, let me hear it. Syrup pudding. Syrup pudding. Pa Pastor Alex, okay. Aww. Ter terrible. I, wa I want to hear from more than just the front row. Nobody? All right, kids who are sitting in the back, I can see you. Come join me up here. I want to hear from you, too. Come on. You don't have to be in the camera. You can just come and sit here. Give a, a hand for our wonderful kids. All right, Benji, what is the sweetest thing you can think of? A stick of sugar. Ooh. All right, Maya, what about you? Candy floss. Candy floss. That is straight sugar. So... What about you, Zoe? A sweet. A sweet, okay. Now, what is the smelliest thing you can think of? I'll give you a second to think about it. Socks? All right, Benji, smelliest thing you can think of? A landfill plus a garbage truck. Oh. <laughs> I'm, wor I'm worried. Your dad, or is it your dad's smelly socks? <laughs> it, what do you think, Zoe? My baby brother's diaper. <laughs> you, you got an idea, Mike? A land full of rotten cheese. Oh, all right. Thank you to our kids who can think of the best things and the worst things. So, when we're talking about this pie, we're going to talk about combining something that might seem smelly, but actually is really sweet. So you guys can sit down if you'd like. Like a nice smell. It'll make sense, I promise. So we are talking about the story of, where are you guys going? <laughs> I lost my kid. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we are talking about the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. So, let's imagine for a second that you walk around central London all day in sandals. Are you going to have nice smelling feet at the end of the day? Probably not. Now, are you going to ask someone to wash your feet for you? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not, because it's kind of a gross job, isn't it? So this is a, a, a story of how Jesus did something so unexpected, because just like you wouldn't really ask someone to wash your really, really gross feet, Jesus wasn't asked, he offered. So we're in John 13, and it says, just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world to go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end, and it was supper time. It's always important to know when the meals are. So Jesus knew that the Father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and he was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet? And Jesus answered, you don't understand what I'm doing, but it will be clear to you later. So then if we go further down, it says, Jesus said, do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master and rightly slow. So this, that is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, washed your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. So, sounds like kind of a strange thing for Jesus to do, huh? Yeah. No? Well, I think it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, why, why another call and response part. Why do you think Jesus washed his disciples' feet? Any ideas? No? He did it because he loved them. Let's think about things that maybe your parents do for you that maybe aren't nice. 
like laundry. That's kind of smelly and messy. You do the laundry. Well, that's amazing. Well done. Um, And like something that your mom does for... Yeah, help your mom change. That's that's something that's smelly, that's nice. But what we're so what Jesus was showing us was how to be humble. And sometimes being humble is doing something smelly, but actually it's really sweet because it shows love for the people around you and it shows love and respect to Jesus because he did it first, so that's why we did it. And Another thing to notice is before Jesus washed his feet, it said that he knew he was the son of God and he knew he was going back. So he knew who he was (coughs) and he knew where he was going. (coughs) So, excuse me. So in just the same way, we know who we are because Jesus has told us that we are his children and his friend. And we know where we're going because Jesus has given us vision And he's given us a calling and a promise that we will be with him one day. And that's how we can copy his pattern still in being sweet and humble. And so there's a statement. I don't know if it's over here. But if somebody does something and then they have to kind of pay for their mistake, it's called eating humble pie. And it sounds like a bad thing. But I'm here to tell you that humble pie is sweet. And it's exactly what Jesus wants us to do. So... Thank you very much. Thank you, God.